CropX combines advanced cloud technology with affordable sensors in the ground. CropX technology scans your field and analyzes its different zones. CropX, the internet of soil. Hello, I'm Matthew Malcolm with Vegetables West Magazine, reporting to you from Sunnyside Farms in Fresno County, and I'm here with Todd Hidasuna to share what's going on at harvest right now. Maybe October, but there's a lot going on here at Sunnyside Farms. Today we are on about 180 acres in eastern Fresno County, where we grow eggplant, squash, uh, zucchini squash, yellow squash. Uh, earlier we had bell peppers here, um, but today we're harvesting eggplant. As you can see behind me, we utilize uh, four 64 foot long self propelled packing machines, is basically what they are. Uh, this allows us to minimize the, the touching that we do to the product. Most you know, fresh produce, the more you touch it, the more you handle it, the more bruised it becomes. It's getting towards the end of the season, so uh, overall, we've had you know, about an average crop. Uh, we get about 2,000, 25 pound bushels. To the acre on eggplant to harvest five or six months that we do we do five plantings uh, the field that we're actually standing in today is our first planting so we started with this late may uh, went through mid-july and then we pruned it back and started picking oh, about a month ago uh, we'll finish with this uh, field over the next couple of weeks from a pest standpoint this year uh, a lot of flea beetle not quite sure why, but a lot of flea beetle. Lagus was a big issue, um, but we do, you know, through IPM and, you know, a good PCA, we've, we've been able to stay on top of it and not minimize our yields uh, or reduce our yields too badly. You know, other than that, it just, you know, kind of concerns that as a row crop farmer in California that we have, obviously with the escalating minimum wage, it's typically our break-even costs, you know, closely parallels with the with what the minimum wage is at the at the time so it's you know you've already got kind of razor thin profit margins so are people going to continue to pay more for the product as minimum wage goes up uh, obviously here in California we had the passage of uh, the AB 1513 I believe the 40 hour uh, work week so crops like squash that have to be picked on a regular basis and we can't afford to to only work a 40-hour week over the over the coming years may get phased out in our production. Um, other than that, still going. We have, uh, like I said, we have eggplant squash. We are doing a little bit of hard squash, butternut spaghetti, acorn, kabocha. More popular this time of the year than when it's 100 degrees outside, but are uh, still going with that. Uh, crops coming both locally and both out of West Sacramento right now. Um, and then we also have a couple weeks left of green beans before everything transitions to uh, either the Coachella Valley or, or Mexico for the winter. Thank you, Todd. Learn more about growers near you by reading Vegetables West magazine. I'm Matthew Malcolm, CaliforniaAgNet.com. <laughs>